Hi guys, my name's Alan and welcome to another episode of Affinity TV. This week we're going to take a quick look at a great application for your Mac, iOS and Android devices. The application is called Scala Preview and it's available at Django.com, spelled with a B, um, of course. And this application allows you to be able to preview your designs from your Mac onto your device. So whether it be you're designing a mobile application, a UI design, or even mobile web design. So go ahead, head over to the site and download the application. There are links on there to download for your Mac and the appropriate device you're working on. Okay, so let's take a quick look at what it looks like once you've downloaded it. So here we go. So on the left hand side, I have the Scala preview app on my Mac. And on the right hand side, I'm just using QuickTime to do a quick screen recording of my iOS device so you can see what's going on on that site. Okay, so you get this welcome screen and it gives you a quick message which says to connect, plug in your device and open Scala View. Or you can click on get help and that will take you directly to their website where it gives you more information about the application and how to connect using Wi-Fi. In my case, I'm just using my USB cable straight from my Mac into my iPhone. In this case, I'm using an iPhone 6. Okay, so to get started, I need to open up Scala View on my phone. So I'm gonna tap on the icon, and there we go, and wait a second, and it gives a message and shows me that I'm now connected. And if I just look at the top left of my uh, mobile device on the top left of the screen there, I can click on that little desktop icon, and it shows me that it's actually connected through the cable to my MacBook Pro. Cool. So now if I just head back over to Affinity Designer to show you what's going on here. So my document that I've created in this case is for the iPhone 6 and the document units are in pixels. The dimensions 750 by 1334. Now by default, the DPI comes up as I think like 144. I'm not sure why. Uh, the DPI for the iPhone 6 is 326 or PPI, you know, is 326. So I'm not sure what's going on with the default of 144. Now, it's important that you get this part correct because I was playing around with this earlier on just using the default settings. And I actually found out that the preview, uh, once I sent it over to my device, didn't actually fit the screen correctly. So whether you're designing for an iOS device or an Android device or your tablet or whatever, you know, just make sure that you have the right dimensions uh, set up inside your document settings uh, for, your, for your design. So once I've got my design done and I'm happy with it, if I just head over to the export persona, select the layer and just make sure I've got continuous selected. Now by selecting continuous allows you to automatically update and re-export those areas of the document or the whole document when you make subsequent changes. So if I just go over and I'm just using JPEG in this case, and I'm just gonna export this out to a folder on my desktop and just hit export. And if I open up the Scala preview again, and just drag that over to the right quickly, and let's go to find it and find that. There we go. So here's the image that I just exported. And I'm going to click and drag that over into the Scala preview window. And you can see as I drag it over, it highlights in blue and it shows me that it's copying over. There we go. So let's just get this out of the way now and I can minimize Scala preview on my Mac. So on the right hand side, you see this green recorder live of what's happening on my iPhone. So now having this live preview. And what I think is really great as stated on the, uh, on the Scala website uh, at Django.com, you know, seeing your design in situ is a great way to ensure color, contrast, and element sizes remain optimal for the device you're working on. And another thing as well, so imagine now you're with your client and you're working along and you've seen the design and said to you, actually, you know what? Can you actually change the logo and make it black? Let's see what that looks like. Let me head back over to the draw persona. I'm gonna select the logo and let's change it to black. And there we go updates straight away for me because I have continuous export selected in the export persona. So you can go ahead, make changes, put new text on it, replace the images, and it's gonna update live for you straight onto your iOS or Android device. So there you go guys, that was just a quick look at using Affinity Designer and Scala Preview on your Mac and Scala View on your iOS or Android device to enable you to have a live preview of your UI design, app design, web design, 
on your mobile device. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon on another episode of Affinity TV.